Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm gonna show you this fake 3D rolling effect in After Effects without any 3D layers. So they're all 2D layers made up in Illustrator. So first we'll jump into Illustrator here and I have my composition divided into separate layers. This is just a pencil how we are going to see it uh, in, the, in the final result. I have this background and then we have three general shapes. We have our uh, outer kind of content with our with our line here, our pencil shape uh, with a, just a blank uh, space in between. And then we have our content right here, which consists of this long row of lines. And I'll explain later why I did that, did it like that. And then we have our mask shape here. And these layers, we're going to import them into After Effects right here. Uh, so now I have these three individual layers and the background, which I locked. And what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, put our pencil content. We're going to go to track mat and then we're going to select pencil shape as our track mat, which will, which will mean that our, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, the mask, of course. So we're going to uh, make the mask. So this content will only be visible within this gray, within this gray shape. So if I select pencil content and my pencil mask is right above that layer, I go to track mat. And I go to pencil mask, the alpha mat. So that means now that this pencil content is only visible within this pencil mask layer. And then make sure that your pencil shape is on top of that. So this, these outlines are on top of this shape. And then we have our pencil. And right now, if I'm going to select these two, the content and the mask, I'm going to parent them to our shape. And that means if I move the shape around, everything moves right along with it. So now we can start animating this. I'm gonna roll it into the screen. Let's go to like one and a half second or something. And then go to your pencil shape and press P on the keyboard and then press Shift R to also open the rotation values. And I'm gonna click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe right here at the ending point. But first I'm going to select my pen behind tool and reposition this anchor point right here because I want this to be my pivot point. Because I'm gonna roll it into the screen. I'm gonna uh, press W on the keyboard for the rotation tool. And I want this to be my end point, my final, um, my final place here. And I'm going to go back in time to zero seconds. And I'm going to move this right along here, like up a bit and then rotate this. So we have now we have these two keyframes from going in into the screen. And if I select this point, I can see the little handle here. So we can add a bit of a curve on this other handle here as well. So add a bit of a curve into that to make it look a bit more interesting. Something like that. So now it rolls into the screen, but it does not have any easing, which doesn't look very good. So we're going to select all of these, go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, open that up, and we're going to zoom in a bit. And we're going to select both of these points and drag them in a bit, and both of these points and drag them in a whole little bit. So now we have this little peak at the beginning and then it slows down at the end. So that that means that it rolls in and then it slows down when it's al almost it almost stopped rolling. Something like that. Maybe make it a bit longer. Yeah. So now it does not have any 3D effect. It just you know just positions and rotates into the screen. So we're going to do that by animating this pencil content because I made this whole this wide illustration here uh, this content you can move this within this mask to create this 3d effect so if i press p on my keyboard i can let's place it over here and here you can see what it's going on so this this shape is now only visible within this mask so i can move this around and i'm going to move it move it over here somewhere like that and i'm going to get a keyframe for the position and i'm going to go back i'm just going to do it right here right now and i'm going to move this one to the left to the right i'm sorry and then i move this keyframe all the way to the beginning so right now so that means that if i play this back you can see that the content is moving within that mask but it doesn't have the same easing of course so if we do that we're basically there uh, easy ease open it up i give this as well some this nice, this, the same curve, and and it needs to. Uh, let's see. We can 
Uh, it's going to the left, right, yeah, so we can make this a bit more dramatic. Like that. If you move around with this, we can move the speed and uh, how many, how much it rotates. So just you need to feel how, how, how much it needs to go. And of course, very dumb of me, it's going in the wrong direction. So um, I'm going to start off here, of course, and then I'm going to go to to this side. So right now I'm going to place the keyframe at the beginning, select both of them, right click, and then put an easy ease on it. And then I'm going to move this in a little bit and this one a hole and at the beginning. And then here we have our pencil rotating in the right way now. So let's see, put it on a loop. That's it. Uh, our fake 3D effect. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next cam keyframe. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.